some partnerships just make sense. And sometimes making sense of the world around us can be encouraged by the partnerships we make. And both of these statements are true with a collaboration between Sensirian and ST Microelectronics. By putting together ST Microelectronics expertise in semiconductor technology and Sensirian's advanced sensor technologies, we can usher in the next generation of sensor applications. And my friends, that's exactly what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Marine Rakon Tondrabe from Sensirian and Tom Bocchino from ST Microelectronics and I explore the synergies between ST Microelectronics and Sensirian and how their complementary technologies can encourage innovation in home automation and indoor air quality application design. We also investigate the details of ST Microelectronics new TMOS infrared sensor, the challenges associated with indoor air quality testing, and how you can take advantage of this innovative partnership for your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic. Hi Maureen, thank you so much for joining me. Hi, happy to be here. Excellent. And hi, Tom. Thank you for joining me. Hi, I'm really pleased to be here. Excellent. Okay, so first off, where do you see the synergies between your two companies, Tom? Well, ST offers a wide portfolio of MEMS sensors, from inertial sensors such as IMU and accelerometer to pressure sensors, biosensors, and infrared both of our companies offer innovative, high-performance solutions to our customers, but there's a special and very special fit in certain applications such as home automation, where we work with Sensirian as a synergistic partner to offer a wider sensor portfolio, including environmental sensors. I agree. And so we see significant synergies between Sensirion and ST Microelectronics in really enhancing the customer journey. By combining our advanced sensor solution with ST's expertise in a semiconductor technology, we can bring high quality solutions to market faster and deliver an optimized, fully supported experience. As an example, home automation and indoor air quality monitoring are applications where the customer can benefit from both our expertise. Fantastic. Now Tom, what are the features that customers are really looking for in an indoor air quality or home automation system? Well, modern home automation appliances such as thermostats, home security systems, and internet-connected appliance-type devices are looking for features beyond a simple set-and-forget thermostat. They're looking for additional features such as person and pet detection, touchless operation, two-way voice, and airflow optimization, for example. It's all about improving the efficiency at the system level in a way that's natural and seamless to the end user. If I may add also in terms of environmental sensing, as Tom mentioned, beyond the thermal comfort with uh, temperature and humidity sensors, customers are looking for gases monitoring and particulate matter to measure air quality. Gases include VOC, volatile organic compounds, NOx, nitrogen oxides, and CO2 carbon dioxide. Sensirion offers individual sensors for each of those air quality parameters, as well as all-in-one sensor nodes. And so customers typically are looking at all those air quality parameters to have a better understanding of the air they are breathing and make automated adjustments like turning on air purifiers or adjusting ventilation. Indoors, sensors are addressing three main concerns, energy efficiency and cost savings, health and comfort, and safety and reliability. Fantastic. Now, tell me more about this TMOS infrared sensor. What's new about this technology? Sure, I can take that. 
TMOS is a highly sensitive infrared presence and motion detection technology, which not only detects a person moving as a PIR sensor does, but it can also continue to detect the presence of a person, which is really different from the older classic quote unquote PIR technology, which could only detect motion. So for example, with older PIR technology, when you walk into a room, the PIR sensor would detect the motion and turn the lights on. But if you were to sit there for five or 10 minutes, the lights would go out. That's frustrating, right? That's because PIR sensors only detect motion. And so that's a key difference between that and TMOS sensor, where a TMOS sensor detects the motion, but it also detects presence. Okay. So Tom, you mentioned time of flight. Now, can you explain a bit about how this works? Sure. The principle is really simple. The time of flight sensor works by measuring the time it takes for a light particle to bounce back from an object. The tiny sensor contains an invisible light transmitter and receiver in infrared. It transmits a beam of invisible light and measures the amount of time for the reflection from that light to return to the sensor. It can be really useful in these kind of systems, such as home automation systems, for example, to detect motion or hand gestures or the distance of a person to the screen. And the more advanced time of flight sensors of today can even detect multiple objects simultaneously in the field of view, which really help to enable a more rich user experience. All right. So I'm really curious about Sensirian's VOC sensor. So Maureen, what are the challenges overall for gas sensing? Sure. Monitoring VOCs is a key parameter to monitor air quality. And the main challenges for gas sensing using metal oxide technology include the repeatability of measurements and compensating for drift and humidity dependency. Our sensor technology uh, at Sensirion and algorithm address those issues. So with the SGP4X sensor, you can get NOx and VOC signals from only one chip, and we provide our algorithm to get a compensated output and reliably detect off-gassing events. I understand that Sensirian has recently joined the ST Partner Program. So first off, can you tell us what the ST Partner Program is all about? ST Partner is a business ecosystem designed to build greater solutions for end customers. It facilitates the collaboration between ST and our partners on things like joint promotion, advanced technical solutions, and developing a system approach for our customers. The program certifies that companies are working closely with ST, creating a network of expert entities, so to speak, that bring complementary know-how to the table. And thanks to this initiative of ST Partner, we can enable a complete solution to help our customers in their development of their products. Maureen, why did Sensirian decide to join the ST Partner program? How did this come about? Well, Sensirion joined the ST Partner program to build on the synergies we discussed earlier, enhancing value for our customers. This partnership allows us to officially amplify our joint capabilities, increasing our visibility and commitment to delivering top quality solutions. By combining our strength with ST Microelectronics, we can communicate a powerful, unified value proposition to the global market and demonstrate our dedication to supporting customers with leading edge technology and comprehensive support. If I could add to that, thanks to this cooperation, customers will benefit from both companies' individual strengths. I mean, ST is a global market leader for inertial and pressure sensors, while Sensirian is a global market leader for humidity and environmental sensors. So together, the two companies can enhance the value of our products and offer higher quality solutions to the customers. Fantastic. Now, Maureen, what are the typical use cases for Sensirian humidity products? Humidity and temperature sensors have incredibly broad applications. To name a few, there is home automation, asset tracking, smart agriculture and smart cities, as well as applications in the automotive industry. 
And I would like to mention that for customers that were using the now obsolete ST humidity sensor, HTS221, in their application, a transition guide is available on ST website to switch to the SHT4X sensors. Of course, customers can directly reach out to the Sensorion support team for help. So, Tom, are there any other applications that can benefit from the technologies you guys have talked about? Well, there are certainly many other applications uh, which can benefit from our partnership. And one that comes to mind for me is asset tracking and logistics. Using sensors such as an IMU accelerometer or a pressure sensor in a shipping container data logger or an asset tracker allows the owner of that tracker to basically track every step that a package experienced during transit. And we can even detect the airplane taking off. So airplane mode takeoff and landing using the pressure sensor and basically use all the sensor information to reduce the power of the data logger itself during transit. This solution can be completed by a Sensorion SHT43 ISO certified sensor if the goods are sensitive to humidity or temperature, like, for example, and during a cold chain. In addition, the solution can be completed with a CO2 sensor for a better preservation of goods in high CO2 concentration. If the asset is, for example, fresh produce or medicines inside a container. Environmental sensing in asset tracking is an added value to ensure the goods were stored in an optimal environment. Maureen, I know that Sensirian has several options for CO2 sensing. So can you give us a bit of an overview? Sure. So there are two main measurement ranges in CO2 sensing. So there's indoor and outdoor levels, which are from 400 ppm to 10,000 ppm. And then there's high concentration ranges, which are from 10,000 ppm or 1 volume percent to 100 volume percent CO2 concentration. And so we are using two main technology for CO2 sensing, photoacoustic technology or thermal conductivity sensing. For indoor-outdoor concentrations, we have three sensor options. The main differences lie in the form factor and size, the accuracy ranges, and the power consumption. Then for higher concentrations, we have one sensor chip. Typical applications are greenhouse monitoring, incubators, grand storage, and some breath applications. So how can developers take advantage of this partnership? Tom, do you have any developer tools available? Yes. In fact, we opened our ecosystem to Sensorian products as a way to enable easy evaluation and adoption for our customers' designs. We offer eval boards such as ProfiMem's tool for prototyping and development in various form factors, the Sensor Tilebox Pro and ST Windbox. And to tie it all together, we have new software a uh, suite called the MEM Studio, which works in conjunction with our hardware kits to provide a user-friendly GUI for sensor evaluation and development. Yes, our, our collaboration with ST Microelectronics has streamlined product integration, enabling customers to accelerate design cycles. We've introduced development and adapter boards, as well as software support, for Sensorion's SHT4X humidity and temperature sensor and SGP40 air quality sensor. It makes it easier for engineers to start working with Sensorion sensors directly within ST's ecosystem. Plus, our sensors are supported with code examples in the Xcube MEMS1 firmware libraries, which are downloadable online. As an example, the air quality firmware library in Xcube MEMS1 allows the user to log air quality measurements and view data from the SGP40 gas sensor using the Unicleo user interface. In addition, example codes to interface Sensorion sensors with STM32 boards are available on Sensorion GitHub. Fantastic. Now, the tool chain and sensors are very comprehensive. Do you guys have any practical examples which put it all together? 
At CES in January, we demonstrated a wall-mounted thermostat type device, which was built using these very eval kits. The demo has all the key features that we discussed today. It uses the TMOS sensor for user presence, time of flight sensor for gestures. It has an ambient light sensor and environmental monitoring sensors. Maureen, do you want to say anything more about it? Yeah, sure. Environmental monitoring in this demo includes Sensorion SHG4X, which is temperature and humidity sensor, and our VOC sensor for air quality. And so all the evaluation and adapter boards used to build this demo are available for ordering. Can we expect anything else from your collaboration in the near future? Yeah, well, both Sensorion and ST Microelectronics are committed to driving advancement in sensor technology and we really encourage you to stay tuned. We plan to enable more sensors on ST platforms, expanding the possibilities for our customers and helping them bring innovative, high-performance solutions to market faster. I would also like to invite startups to apply to the Innovation World Cup, which we co-sponsor to support innovative solutions in a variety of markets. And I could add a little bit to that. Our product lines mesh together very well. Our customers can benefit from both companies' individual strengths, with ST being a global market leader for the inertial sensors, pressure sensor, and such sensors, while Sensirian is the global market leader for humidity and environmental sensors. Looking to the future together will enhance the value of our offerings. It's a really good fit. Fantastic. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, Tom. Thank you, Amelia. And thank you for joining me, Maureen. Thank you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash journal.